Rumi Jaffrey gets a visibly aging Amitabh Bachchan and an out of focus Imran Hashmi in a middle of nowhere mansion and tells what could be a very interesting story in a manner that can kill interest and bore the daylights out of you. Chehre, this face has no face value. Lyrically, probably we start off with coming a whole circle with Amitabh Bachchan doing a barit seeming baritone announcement of how Chehre is all that remains, coming a full circle from Gulzar Saab who said, Naam gum jayega, chehra badal jayega, meri awaz hi pehchan hai, gar yaad rahe. Yaham par to yaad, chehre ke hi rehte hai, according to the flow of the tale. How is it that only faces I remember? No relevance to the story based on a German plot novel, The Dangerous Game. I'm told it's also been made in different languages in India as cinema. You have Shantata, Kot Chalu, Ahe in Marathi. You have a Kannada version of the movie. I'm not going to pronounce it for you because I'm not familiar with the language. And there is Anusandhan in Bengali. But what, coming back to Chehre, we have four characters, a retired judge, a retired public prosecutor, a retired lawyer, and a retired executioner. It is so unfortunate that somebody as talented as Raghuvi Riyadav is made to sit with a flute and behave like somebody who's completely lost his marbles. What happens is you have Imran Hashmi coming in as Karan Oberoi and the Normans, you know, you, this, we have these profilings, you see, the name you, the moment you have the name Karan Oberoi, you know he's business and he's successful. So Karan Oberoi is a successful young yuppie businessman. He gets uh, caught in this ice clad mountains with a storm. His BMW crashes and he comes up to this house led by a lawyer in Prasenjit Singh played by Anu Kapoor over the top. Here you have Dhritaman Chatterjee as a retired judge, Jagdish Acharya, and you have Latif, the public prosecutor. These four people are going to play the game with you and go to bore the daylights out of you. Oh yeah, also in this house is a dumb nitwit looking Moha Bharadwaj in Riya Chakraborty, who is clueless about what she should be doing, including acting. Now all of them are there and they entice the foursome, the retired judge, the retired public prosecutor, the defense counsel and the executioner are all there in a planned scheme where they are going to play a dangerous game, where they get the visitor to play a game, he has got to give his consent, they entice him sufficiently, challenge him and he says yes and then he does not realize what he is getting into and at one point in time he just can't walk out of it. This leads to a kind of a crime thriller and what happens with Imran is the rest of the story. For two hours and ten minutes he is captured in this house. As a story he has the liberty of going out of the house to tell what happened in the past. You and I do not. We are captured, captivated and put in this house to watch this two hour ten minute interesting story told boringly by Jaffrey. The takeaways are Dhritaman Chatterjee as the judge, dignified as ever. Everyone else hams his, their way through the movie. Balancing all the over the top is Rhea Chakraborty who does not act at all. Imran is probably more balanced than most others. He has a role that is hardly fleshed properly. Amitabh Bachchan even does not give you the signature baritone voice. He is out of context in the story. He seems to be acting from memory. Chehre is a real great opportunity in telling an interesting story gone worry completely in its execution. Nice cinematography, appalling editing is what the crew will take home with them. Take it from me. Dashira is a nice time.
don't waste it on chehre good day sign off with acknowledgments to abhinav and dattu bye bye